actress, a writer, a comic, and an all-around opinionated woman. Coming up on today's show, latest trends on Twitter, Gangnam Style for World Peace, Cuddles and Bagel Heads, Japan's Hottest Things, Clothes That Like You, Beer with Balls, and finally, Cybercrime Gets a TRO. Trending on Twitter is the hashtag easily attracted to. Alright, it's a nice uh, shallow topic right there. However, it's also a manual for stalkers and obsessed fans. If Justin Bieber tweeted that he is easily attracted to Mohawks, you can be assured that 87% of teenagers and about 32% of housewives will have a Mohawk before the day is done. By the way, please use hashtags only on Twitter. Real life does not need it, so don't send me an SMS with a hashtag on it. Social networking sites seem to be the fount of advice for relationships. Two days ago, the trending topic was how to make a relationship last. You know what will make a relationship last? Not tweeting about how hard you fucked your girlfriend. Okay, maybe you should try communicating with your partner or your significant other in real life and not on Twitter. Okay, because no matter how hard you justify it, a virtual relationship is not a real relationship. It's called the Snuffleupagus Syndrome. On YouTube, Gangnam is still on top of the trends, but come on man, how many times do you have to listen to a single song, right? It's just, it was amusing, it was humorous, it was cute, but every single day, it's just annoying now, completely annoying. However, the UN seems to be on the caravan with this Gangnam thing. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon hailed South Korean rapper Psy's global hit as a force for world peace. I would like to see Psy to go to these uh, war-torn countries and stop the war just by dancing Gangnam. In other places on the internet, Japan recently opened a store that sells, um, well, cuddling. Yes, cuddling. It can go from a three-minute very loving gaze to hand-holding, and it can go up to a full two-hour custom cuddling session. How is this not borderline prostitution? Am I the only one who finds this creepy? I, I really find this creepy. Now, as if that's a, well, that wasn't weird enough, um, actually, the guys at MIT in the Media Lab actually um, introduced a new product. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Media Lab uh, publicly declared their new project and presented it and called it the Like a Hug Vest and can now provide a Facebook user with a hug every time someone gives you a like. Hugs were also shared amongst netizens or citizens as a TRO or temporary restraining order was released against the cybercrime law by the Supreme Court. The High Tribunal gave a unanimous decision and are looking into the inconsistencies and other chorba that the lawmakers should have been aware of before actually passing and signing this bill. Some of the senators who signed the bill even admitted that they had a personal oversight and are now, and are now working on making changes to it. The lesson here is read it before you sign it, okay? Basic knowledge, your job. Every time you're asked to sign a document, think of it as a contract to your soul. The Supreme Court and several government bodies clearly state this on their website. If you actually search before signing, like in quotation marks, site colon dot gov dot ph on Google, You'll get the DTI, the HLURB, NKTI, PNP, and other websites that are from the government stating within their pages that it is important and imperative that you read anything you sign. My favorite so far is the resolution GR number 155299 ruling transcription of a case in the Supreme Court, wherein the question was, you are an educated person, Mrs. Witness. It is not true. Is it not true that it is basic for a person before signing a document to read it? Hmm? 
Mm -hmm. By the end, that's just me. But I think there are a lot of benefits that we did not see with the cyber libel clause in the law. I mean, if you call someone a bitch online, you get 12 years. If you slap the bitch, you get about a maximum of 30 days and a fine of 200 pesos. I think this law is trying to help us overcome our passive aggressiveness. I think so. So a lot of things that we can do about this. Still on law-related news, Unai Beauty Queen Bindi Galliardo, if you still remember her, sues Frank Miller and Kimberly Cox. Frank Miller is actually the creator of Sin City and uh, 300. And the girlfriend, Kimberly Cox, is an actress as well and works with Frank Miller. But uh, Dindy Gallardo sues them for alleged abuse and alleges that Cox was very abusive to her and has made her working environment very difficult. If I can just say something here, Kimberly Cox is actually in her late 20s, early 30s. Dindy Gallardo is 41. I think it's just a little sick here. On food-related news, a Colorado brewery has created a beer with a new and unusual flavor, bull testicles. Yes, bull testicles. A brewer from the Wincoop Brewing Company said fried bull testicles, or Rocky Mountain oysters, are a Colorado favorite. This makes them the perfect ingredient to showcase a new style of beer we've created, which really pays tribute to one of Colorado's unique jewels. See what you did there, you not the brewery. The company has also launched a new tagline, Our beer is the only beer with balls. And back to Japan. A new beauty trend is making the rounds, literally. It's the new bagel face or bagel head body modification. I actually don't have any words for this. Now, if you have something to share with us, you can connect with me via Twitter at Ian Galigas. You can also like my Facebook fan page, Ian Duday Galigas. Subscribe to our YouTube account, the Ian Galigas channel, or send me an email via my website, iangaligas.com. And if you have anything else weird to tell us, we're here. Okay? And in protest of this cyber libel law, I am actually inviting everyone to um, leave a comment on my website or just send me a comment through Twitter, any means possible. And the weirder and slanderous the comment is, the more that I will tweet about it or promote it on social networking sites. Okay, just come up with the weirdest and most, the silliest thing that you can think of. Okay, but no playing around with my name. I already know that. Okay? No calling me gay. That's already been done. Be creative. Be creative, be fun, and be fun. Thank you very much. This is Ian Galigas. I'll see you next time on the Ian Galigas Show.